this is going to be a quick little intro, and hopefully I do okay, hopefully you can hear me, I'm freehanding this, but, um, my dad and I made it down to, uh, to South Texas, and there's, the first day, there's a lot of light left, so our outfitter said, hey, why don't you guys get out there and, and, uh, get to it right away, so, um, because we don't really have a game plan, we don't really know the lay of the land yet, he suggested these blinds that have some mineral rocks on them. And the odd uh, come off these, uh, well, they call them mountains, or they call them hills, I call them mountains. And they come down here and they hit on these mineral rocks, just like, uh, like all the other um, game do. So, you know, we decided since we don't really know what's going on yet, we haven't pulled cameras and there's cameras all over this ranch, we'd do that. So, um, hopefully, you know, we can, hopefully we can get it done tonight and something will come in. And uh, if not, at least we'll have a good game plan, so I'll game plan for tomorrow. So I'm wearing my, my good luck necklace that my daughter made me that I was able to shoot my buck with. So we'll see if anything comes in tonight. If not, at least we'll have a good game plan. We pull the cameras and, and head on back out. So uh, stick with me. We'll see what happens.
So I, uh, I got my RAM and not real sure what all is gonna, the video is going to show. The first shot, uh, as hopefully the video shows, was forward and it broke shoulder, but it wasn't a good shot. And I'm not real happy with with my shooting initially, but I am proud of, of keeping my cool on what uh, what happened next. So after the shot, the ram ran about 55 yards and bedded down, and I could just see the tops of his horns, so I knew his head was up. And I waited and uh, tried to formulate a plan. And while I was doing that, he got up and decided to move off. And it was at that time I knew I had to get another arrow in him. So I put one more into him, but that, uh, that was far back. But I hit, and he went down behind me in this canyon. And that's when things get really interesting. So um, I knew then, two hours in, I had to, something had to happen. I had to finish the job. So I got over to this room in the canyon. And in a second, I'm going to take the, the uh, camera and show you where I crawled out to. I crawled on the ridge of this, out on a rock. And I saw him down there in the bottom, uh, head down and uh, wobbly as heck. But I wanted to get one more. So I ranged him. He was uh, 29 uh, yards. And I uh, stuck him from this rock and that put him down uh, for good or at least I think it did. I'm going to give him a little bit of time but I wanted to show you guys uh, out here in South Texas how how what I was earlier talking about the cliffs and rocks um, and where I crawled out to shoot him. So here is the uh, here's the canyon. This last shot. You can see that rock ledge right there gave me a shot. It was down there. So that was my last shot, and that was a decent one. So I guess. Um, For this real quick is sometimes you know sometimes things happen I really didn't want to that wasn't the shot I wanted and there's no excuse on that but I did the right thing I, I made it quickly made a plan I had a plan in place about what I was gonna do I followed that plan and uh, despite the crawling out here on the rock that my wife might not be too happy about but it came together uh, and it worked now that that's gonna be an interesting recovery getting them out of this canyon but that's uh, exactly what happened the last time I shot a ram down here. So um, we'll see. I'll probably cut wait till the morning and uh, before I shoot some more videos and try to get some recovery of it there. So we will uh, get back to the cabin, make a plan about getting this guy out with the lights going down. And I don't want to bugger up this area too much, although I probably already have. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. We will uh, we'll see what happens with this guy. I know he's down. So he's get out. Well, here's the ram from last night. We got him out of this, uh, out of the canyon here, and most of the way to the top. We'll finish up the work here. We lost camera light, so I wasn't able to show you guys the recovery. Um, so we're doing it this morning. But we're here with Tony and his crew at the Bow Ranch in Uvalde County, Texas, and they provide, uh, in my opinion, the absolute best free-range odd-ad bow hunt you could ever experience. So. Um, we're going to get out here, get some pictures of this beautiful guy, and uh, get back home with the wife and kids. Thanks.